My name is Ashley Michael. I'm the implementation lead for the extended power uprate project at Browns Ferry. I'm Jake Nelson, mechanical maintenance superintendent. My name is Lionel Locke and I am the program manager for reactor services here at Browns Ferry. My name is Robert Moxley and I'm a project manager here at Browns Ferry. My name is Susanna Stevens and my job title is EPU project manager for operations, training and procedures. Uh, my name is William Baker. I'm the senior manager of extended power upgrade operations at the Browns Ferry nuclear plant. Adding 465 megawatts of additional generation capacity at Browns Ferry Nuclear Plant is a huge demonstration of TVA's commitment uh, to providing for all of the commercial, environmental, uh, and public needs of our community. Well, essentially what we did is we took a 1974 Dodge Daytona and turned it into a 2019 Dodge Hellcat. I think everybody understands that we're bringing more power to the valley. When EPU is finished, we'll be able to power up over 200,000 more homes in the valley. That's the big picture, doing it safely, doing it reliably. But there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that they probably don't realize, all the effort that it takes to get something like this, to plan something like this, to implement something like this. There's a lot of testing that goes on. The completion of EPU is a big achievement for Browns Ferry. Is we performed three EPU outages in a row. That's three steam dry replacements and feed water heater replacements, and we did it safely. There's not a lot of people in, the, in our industry that can say they did that and repeated it safely three times in a row. So the fact that we did that and, pu and put additional megawatts onto the grid to add to our generation capacity was a very big win for the Valley. Completing EPU was a huge accomplishment, not just for TVA, but also for the area, the valley. Being able to power up more homes and businesses, but also it kind of gives you a sense of pride. Being proud that your kids can one day work here. I mean, lots of times your parents, you don't want them to, you don't want your kids to do the same thing you do, because it may have been hard. But even though this is hard, it's enjoyable, it's something you show pride in. So being able to want your kids to do what you do and be able to follow in your footsteps, having that pride and wanting your kids to work there and do the same thing you do and show that pride and commitment to the public and to the Valley is, is great. I'm proud of the EPU team, the people at Browns Ferry, and I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm glad we've completed the project successfully and I look forward to the challenges in the future. I am extremely proud to work at Browns Ferry and the completion of the extended power uprate is a huge accomplishment and one that I am very grateful to be a part of. I learned that while making power is a good thing, making it safely is a better thing. Throughout the EPU project and our engineering analysis, license analysis and modifications in the plant, safety has been our top priority. The ultimate goal of the extended power up rate here at Browns Ferry and everything we do is the safety and the protection of our community. The health and safety of the public is in our mission. It's one of our primary responsibilities. So that kind of um, thinking goes into all of our work planning uh, and the execution and the focus that we bring to every task every day. Everything we do here is about making power, but that's just the easy part. Everything else that we had to go through, maintaining equipment, changing maintenance schedules to make sure that the power up rate schedules for maintenance reflected the power up rate conditions. Um, engineering reviews of all the things that had to be done. Remember that we have uh, limits on how much heat we can put in the river that had to be evaluated. Uh, our cooling tower capability had to be evaluated. All the things that you would have to do in order to raise power, it's kind of like adding a three or 400 square feet to your house. You got to have better air conditioning. All the things that have to go with that, you have to do here, and that's what we did. So some of the challenges we had when we were developing procedures and the training to go along with them, we had some new procedures we had to develop. And then we also had close to 800 procedures that we had to revise for all of the modifications. Not only is that time consuming, but we also had to get the line to buy in. It involved a lot of people, not just our group, but also the rest of the site. We had to get people to review the procedures. We had to make sure that they were accurate, that they reflected the, the modifications that we were doing. And with the training, especially in the simulator, we had to get operations crews in there to make sure that they could perform them correctly. The companies Browns Ferry partnered with for the extended power uprate project brought many innovations. 
For instance, Barnhart Crane and Regan Company developed the soft track crawlers to help us move feed water heater tube bundles through the plant safely. GE Hitachi designed a new steam dryer to handle the increased steam flow. GE Steam Services developed a new high pressure turbine to handle the increased steam flow and increase efficiency in our turbine generator train. Well, TVA, we will not be successful without our strong alliance with the vendors that helped us pull EPU off. GE Hitachi and Peterson and UCC, everybody had their own part in this project. We depended on Barnhart to rig the steam dryers from the ground level to the refuel floor. Uh, they had to come up with different mechanisms and new design, new tooling that didn't exist before this project to be able to pull this type of project off safely. Our team was built with experts from across the industry. We brought in former senior reactor operators from Browns Ferry, a former NRC resident inspector, former design engineers from GE, and an extensive group of people with uh, expertise in all fields. That ensured that we were successful. Browns Ferry generating more power in service to TVA is a huge contributor to TVA fulfilling its mission of economic development. You're already seeing it with companies like Google and Facebook, Toyota and Mazda, choosing to relocate here in Northern Alabama and then other, many other companies in the greater Tennessee Valley. And as those companies come on into this area, even more talent is brought into the area. And the more talent, the more opportunities makes this area even more attractive to other families and other corporations who are looking for a place to relocate. Being one of the top two power producing plants in the United States, that's, that's huge. That's, that's bragging rights right there. So as a three unit plant, not just putting the modifications in, but also revising the procedures and, and doing the training for our personnel here it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of teamwork and that makes me proud. Well, I'm a little biased uh, about proudest moments, but I will tell you, in my experience and since 1986, this is the proudest moment for TVA Nuclear that we could have ever achieved.